The inspiration is everywhere. And it's, it's definitely here in this land, in this earth, in this place right now, but it's, the inspiration is also in everybody, even a struggle, even somebody that's closed. The inspiration is there from a closed person because you're seeing, oh man, that's got to hurt. That's got to be tough. That's a reminder that we are all in different places. And so for someone that's closed or resistant or whatever else, that's also an inspiration in a strange way because you're like, well, we've all been that person before as well. get here and you just almost can feel yourself like loosening your grip like your your hands kind of go like this and you never it's not that your hands were really like this but it's all relative because in the in our regular world sometimes we're doing this more than we know we are you know because we're in routine even though we're trying to be present even though we're trying to be mindful even though we're trying to celebrate the process being here is kind of this big exhale, this decompression, and then getting grounded once you get here. Because you're in awe at first, it's almost like, am I in a dream? Putting ourselves in this different environment, in a different place, allows us to let go of the things that we hold on to in our regular lives. People are arriving. So the walls kind of come down and we're more open to whatever it is we need to hear, and whatever it is we need to experience, whatever it is we need to feel. And there's nothing more important than that, that feeling. Getting in touch with this. Being in a new environment allows you to do that. Some of it is just, oh my God, this is so beautiful. Holy shit. You know, and then the doors open and you don't know it. You didn't have to actively open it, they just do. Just know during the next seven days where you put the walls up, where the walls will come up in you. And it's okay because we all put them up somewhere and it's scary and we're gonna move through some stuff that comes up and we're like, where the, where'd this come from? And there's gonna be a lot of laughter and there's gonna be some tears too. And I would just urge everybody to, to be open to all of it. Just show up and just be open to everything, to the experience on the mat. That's just a small part of the yoga though. We didn't come all the way to Guatemala just to practice yoga on the mat. The yoga is everything. It's every conversation. It's everything we do together and we do by ourselves. It's the books we read. It's, the, it's, it's everything. It's the hikes, it's the walks, it's the, it's, it's the food we eat. So it's all yoga. And so you're, all you have to do is just be open and be aware and mindful when you're not being. bring this light with us and as we share it with everybody, we see it in everyone and everything. We honor it in ourselves. Let's bring our hands to our center. I think the metaphor of yoga and the reality of yoga and what it means for us is, is a powerful one that resonates with us you know, that resonates with humans because it's a mind-body-spirit experience. You know, it's emotional, it's mental, it's physical. Exhale. Get into it. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. It's about our own inward journey, but it's also about our outward journey as well. Keep the chest open, inhale, rise up, open your heart to the sky. Stay here. It's one thing if we're just connecting deeper into our own hearts, but we've got to remember to connect with each other too. It can be what people want it to be for them without dumbing it down, without watering it down, without like changing it to a selfish purpose. I think it makes us get over that stuff and sometimes it's not pretty all the time. Moving through it can be tough and it's a jump off point for so many other things in our life. Like the, the yoga, we see yoga, you think of somebody doing asana, the handstand, the warrior two, or whatever it might be. But that's just a small, tiny part of the yoga. You know, the meditation's a huge part. The way we live is, is the biggest part. Relax your face. Where's your breath? Bring your left arm up to meet the right. When we're practicing yoga, we're practicing life on the mat. You know, when we do the asana, we're just practicing life on the mat. And everything we do is a metaphor and a symbol. And, and a real experience in the moment of our lives. Tomorrow, talk about our legs being sore. Our legs are gonna be sore, our butts are gonna be sore. But we're gonna get to that volcano and it's, dang it, man, we're gonna be so in awe of what we see. We're gonna be so inspired by seeing that volcano. It's not even gonna matter. It's like, it's not even gonna matter. Like, nobody's even gonna need help, you know? It's just gonna be this beautiful experience climbing a volcano in this beautiful place full of the most incredible energy and we're just going to be in awe and inspired by it all and we're going to be bowing down to that thing man and it's just going to be awesome and it's not going to matter that we're kind of sore it's going to be amazing you know because of the inspiration that that we feel you know and that's that's really cool man That body that you feel today, just that physical shell that we have to honor and take care of and keep healthy so that we can be happier and more well adjusted. That soreness is really the feeling of growth, of rebirth, of reawakening. How lucky we are to be able to feel what we feel to feel what we feel, but that doesn't stop at just the body. That's the great escape a lot of times for us. The body, it's the great escape. How do I look? How do I feel? Do I have a six pack abs? Do I have bulging thighs and a perky butt? <laughs> We are so lucky just to be alive. We are so lucky to hear what we hear, to see what we see, to feel what we feel. Be moved today. Decide to be moved today. A day without being moved to the core. A day without shedding some tears because you're so moved and laughing so deeply and loving so much is a day that we miss out upon. We are so moved sometimes that you're uncomfortable and you love so much that sometimes you're not even sure who you are. Fall in love with life today, a little more deeply. Exhale, airplane arms, right leg back, low flying air. It's not always pretty. It's not always gonna be easy. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. Most of the time, I think in life, our discomfort comes from vulnerability. You know, like we don't, you know, I feel a little goofy, you know, I feel a little goofy doing this. I feel a little too, a little too open. And so you're gonna see the walls come up and then you're gonna see some walls come down and you're gonna see another one come up and you're gonna see another one come down, you know? Breathe, breathe, breathe it in, stay here. Not checking out like we did on the path sometimes, right? And then when we caught ourselves and we're like, you know what, damn. And you stop and you're walking and all of a sudden you see your feet 
touching the ground and you feel your feet along the ground and you're looking around and you see all that foliage around you. And this life that comes out of this fertile volcanic earth, you're just like, oh my God, I am in the heart of it all. Spread the toes, yoga toe. Now your left hip is in line with your left knee or you can bring it back more. Just breathe with it, but find some degree of comfort here, guys. It's like when you take the filter away. The only way to be of service in the situation I am in, to just share it without, without worrying about what I look like, what somebody might think, something coming out wrong and not me, me and not articulating it the right way. So the only way to be what I need to be is to be open. That's kind of like opening the channels. And I don't know, I, don't, I can't explain what happens. I feel inspired and that, that energy just moves through me. It's not, it's not even me really, it's just, it just moves through me. Bend your right knee, open up your Achilles a little bit more, get into your toes, breathe, where's your breath? The emotions are just the rawness of the moment and the rawness of the the words and the ideas. Bring in that air and you feel your body getting nourished. You're breathing hard, your heart is beating, sweat is just dripping all over. And you feel like, man, in this state of mind, I just feel like bringing in this air, in this place right now, I'm being healed. I don't know what I'm being healed from, but we all need some healing. The thoughts the intentions. I'm, I can't block it, because if I block it, then it's not real. Billy and Tracy create this environment where it's like, you know what, you don't need expectations. You can kind of leave that at the door and just kind of be open and just experience. And that's when the magic happens. You are open to it with him because he's created an environment where it's like, you know what, it's not about handstand. It's not about crow or any of these silly yoga poses. It's about being here right now and just being open and leaving at the door this notion that, you know, yoga is supposed to be a certain way and it's supposed to do this for you and by doing it, you're gonna change or be improved or be better. For once in my life, actually I'm enjoying the actual process of the yoga. I think this is where so much of the, the shifts happen. I think a lot of people come in the door to yoga one way and then they, they leave in their hearts. They, they might walk into the door in their heads and they leave in their hearts. And that's what this is all about. It's an opportunity for, for people to unplug <laughs> and to, you know, get away from their lives and, and get in touch. And, you know, I think that's the, the key is trying to get into that place too and practice in that place in our lives, you know, in our in our daily lives, in the routine, mundane lives that we live, or whatever you want to, to say about it. This is a way to get away from all that and really practice being in that space, and what it feels like to be in that space. We got some versions of ourselves that we like to celebrate more than others, you know? Some versions of ourselves that we're real comfortable being in. And it's usually not this one. It's usually not the one that gets up at 5.30 in the morning and shows up on the dock and sits quietly and just breathes.
it's usually the version of ourself where we don't have to just sit and think or to be still or to actually sit and not think but to feel it's about being vulnerable and I have a hard time being vulnerable sometimes I mean I don't know about you guys maybe you don't but I know I do but I know that the, the times that I'm most vulnerable are also some of the times that I'm most alive. It's a, a wake-up call. You know, it's an opportunity to feel. To feel more deeply. Not to be judged, but to feel. You know, so that's a, an opportunity for us. You know, people are coming here with their life, their jobs, all the responsibilities and the roles they play and everything else, and they're just really working on pointing that arrow toward their own hearts and taking responsibility for living a fuller life filled with more love, and more gratitude. Coming here, I felt pretty burnt out and tired and stressed. And I, I, I feel like I've had the opportunity to really focus on myself and figure out how to be more connected on a daily basis. You know, yeah, it's great to get away and go on vacation and what's not to love about that, but this has been a lot more than just packing a suitcase and going to a gorgeous location. And all the stressors that I had at home when I left completely changed my mindset around them and I can't wait to embrace my life back in Denver. And doing something that inspires us, whether it's painting or playing the guitar or writing a book, Shifts are taking place. I mean, they're, they're t people are talking about it. You know, they're talking to each other about it, and they, you know, approaching me and talking to me about it and sharing their stories. The stories are always there for us. The inspiration is always there, and it's the the stories of our humanness that inspire me. You give them the space to be vulnerable and to move into that part of themselves. Experience, um, it's just about showing up and, and really being here. So. <laughs> and I think they look around, they get in there and they realize, and, where have you been? You know, and I, I've missed you and I need to be here. You know, and this is where I need to dwell a little bit more and I need to look around and it's, it's, it's emotional.